What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the NECA Godzilla King of the Monsters, Burning Godzilla, or as they like to call it, Godzilla version 3. Um, yeah. It's Burning Godzilla. Why couldn't they just call it Burning Godzilla? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, version 3, the Target exclusive version 3, my zillions, it's here. It took me a long time to get it. Uh, I guess not that long, it hasn't been out that long, but um, still, yeah, it is what it is. You can check out my unboxing for all those details if you'd like. Uh, but this is cool. This is one that, you know, uh, when they first showed it, I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And, you know, I, I kind of like version 2, the blue one, um, Spitfire. I, I kind of like that one a lot. Um, it's, it's actually grown on me more than my review even gives it credit for. So, that's cool. I, and I thought this one was going to surpass that one. But, no, I don't know. I'm not so sure. So, let's stop talking. Let's start reviewing. Ooh, and my voice did a little, little bit of a crackle there. Um, so this Godzilla doesn't come with any accessories, so I'll show you the backdrop that comes in the box because I never look at this stuff because I just don't care. This ends up in my trash. Uh, but for those of you that like this stuff, there you go. You have a nice, it is actually nice um, backdrop here uh, that goes here, Boston all, all destroyed from uh, the destruction of Godzilla and King Ghidorah and Mothra and Rodan and... You know, burning Godzilla here, melting, melting down everything. Good times. Articulation, if you don't have the, the first two. Jaw, head, slight neck, hinge, slight hinge. This goes out this way a little bit. Swivel, hinges at the, sh uh, at the uh, elbows. This one was very tight upon opening. I had to take some heat to it. Uh, then you do have a hinge swivel at the wrist. The body moves a bit. The legs swivel at the thighs. The knees, I get more of a forward than a back. I, I, I'm assuming that would be your back, but that's kind of my default like stance here. There is one detent in between where I'll, I'll keep it, but yeah. Uh, and then the uh, feet do have a hinge as well. You can feel it. And then they kind of rock around. On the back side, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, a bunch. You got a lot of articulation at the tail, but it is pretty floppy. This is the third time they're making this figure, so there is going to be mold degradation. That is a thing that happens. And I just broke my figure. There's no doubt I just broke the, f the final peg here. It's still there, but I think I broke it. <laughs> yeah! NECA! Or Ultrazilla! NECA and Ultrazilla together! That's the articulation. I might have a broken tail, I might not. I'm not even going to play around with it right now. I don't care. But if you really were wondering, I don't actually think I broke it. I don't know. I think this part popped lower here. And that was a kind of snappy heard. But what else? Let's take a look at Burning Godzilla. Now, the thing I did say in my unboxing was I found this guy. I got this in uh, the mail. But I had found him like a week before. But it was already in transit. I just didn't want to buy more than one. Um... And every one that I saw, of the three that I saw, had different paint apps. One was too dark, like these black apps here were like really prominent, like more so than this. Then uh, another one was really super, super orange, like this. Like this was like all extended, it was really bad. And then uh, the third one had really bad chipped paint on, like really bad along the dorsal fins. Now, this one has some of that going on. You can see right there. Uh, there is a few spots that, you know, like right here. Some of them you could dismiss. Some of them you cannot. There was like at least one more uh, right here at the end that bothers me. You know, so something to note. Uh, there probably is some more there. But yeah, then the applications of we're gonna just look at the dorsal fins first 
The, the yellow is pretty good. The orange is pretty good. The reds kind of all blend in together nicely, but there is a kind of like afterthought of like a brush here. It looks like, and it, it's like, it's really prominent when you get down in here. And you know, these streaks just kind of don't look so hot. You know, uh, and I'll say the same for the other side. It's just like kind of plopped, plop, plop. Very unartistically done. I don't know. It just, it looks like an amateur artist did it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it doesn't look like a skilled brush uh, on this. It's kind of like the, um, not as bad, uh, but kind of like the Shin Godzilla Awakening version that they did, which was an absolute mess on mine. Uh, now, I, I have to say, you know, when NECA goes back and redoes things sometimes, like when they reissue something or just like reproduce or do another production run, sometimes things are fixed. So, you know, I, I, this is stuff that I have to point out in reviews because sometimes you just don't know who's going to watch. You know, and if they are watching, they might go, oh, that is sloppy, you know, and they, they might talk to someone in the factory and then the next production run that comes out might be a little bit better. So you guys that didn't get this yet might want to look out for that because the first version I've heard has fixed eyes, which if you recall, the eyes on the first version was really bad. So there's new ones out there. I haven't seen it myself, but in person, but they are many reports of finding ones with like very good eyes now. So that's that's a very good thing. Uh, so I hope, you know, when I point out stuff like this, you guys understand why uh, it has nothing to do with like hating on. It's I'm I'm literally reading what's here, you know. Um, the rest of this guy, he is done in translucent plastic, which is interesting. Uh, very nice. It's a nice sculpt. You know, for the most part, I don't really love the way they did the mouth, the teeth. Uh, they're not prominent enough for me. There's like gaps in them. It's the problem I've had since the beginning. I just don't care for the way they they sculpted the mouth. Uh, the tongue inside looks pretty good. And I do like that they colored it that way. I think it looks cool. I, I dig the kind of off whiteness and then you got the orange in there. So that looks fine. The rest of the sculpt is very nice, you know, throughout if you haven't seen it. Again, it's the same one we've seen a few times already, a couple times already, now the third time. Uh, and it looks good. It's a, it's a good looking Godzilla 2019 for sure. Um, there are some things from the 2014 still here uh, as well, but it's, it's mostly a new sculpt. I mean, not now, but it was. <laughs> um, and I do like the paint on its eyes. I like the paint. If you take away all this stuff, you know, I like the paint on the rest of it. I like how the black over the red looks, and then you have all this line work within, you know, kind of like like bubbling through, all the, the heat bubbling through. It looks really good. And then you get to the hands, and it's just like kind of just the translucent plastic. It's just gone all the way into the translucent plastic. Uh, and that looks cool. Like, there's less paint on this one. There's a little bit more going on on this one, as you can see. But... It looks phenomenal uh, otherwise. I love how the, you know, black looks again here on the chest and on the neck. It doesn't look too black. When I say the other one had a lot of black and this has a lot of black, the other one was like you couldn't even see some of the lines. It was just like gooped on, it looked like. So, yeah, I wish I would have taken some pics of that and shown you guys. I, I didn't. I was in a rush that day. Uh, but it is something that's there. I, I have no reason <laughs> to report otherwise. Um... You can see over here, the dorsal fins are not like consistent in the paint. Like this is very empty compared to the rest. Uh, but otherwise I do like the paint on this guy, you know? Um, like all the main parts, I mean, it's all main parts, but if you know what I'm saying, like if you look at it from the front or as a side angle, I do really like it. I do think it looks very cool. You know, it's just when you get, you know, into some of this, uh, that I think, personally, it looks a little sloppy. Now, that said, you dim the lights, you put, like, a one light source on it, and I feel like it looks pretty cool, especially if you could get it, like, shining through a little bit. Um, there is a nice factor to that. You know, overall, it does make it uh, a little better. So, with the proper lighting, you can see how, like, translucent it is when you kind of look at it like that. Um, 
I think this guy looks very, very cool. There's no doubt about it. So I definitely want to show it like this because I think a lot of folks are gonna like enjoy that kind of translucency aspect of this figure. For all your size comparisons, here he is with Ultraman Ginga, Ultra Act Gridman, SH Monster Arts Kong for those anticipating uh, the new movie next year. Unfortunately, the Mezco Kong is too big. NECA Godzilla 62, NECA Godzilla 64, Chogoken Mecha Godzilla 75, the most disappointing figure of the year, SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah, the most underrated King of the Monsters figure, the Jax Rodan, NECA Rodan and Mothra, which are, you know, they're fine figures. Rodan, eh, I like Mothra more than Rodan. And finally, it's Mold Mates version 1, version 2. <laughs> Simply put, or as I like to say, the yeah version and the raver version. I do like the raver version uh, the most. I said that already. I think it's very, very cool. Uh, we do have the monster arts on its way as we speak. So uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that review. And of course, a comparison video with that one. So there you have it. There's all three of that. I might look out for the... Uh, the new version, if it's true that they read the, the, the eyes. I have to see it in person uh, to find out. And my final thoughts, while I don't think this is a, a figure of the year contender, it's, it's fine if you, you know, want a Burning Godzilla and you don't want to spend a premium on the SH Monster Arts coming out in the spring. Uh, I don't blame you. However, really look out for the paint. Again, I can't stress enough that I found multiple versions of this um, out there with different looking paint applications all one more sloppy than the other none of them were perfect so and neither is this one as i've said the dorsal fins uh the paint going down the legs i don't like it you know the paint in the front the paint you know the black on the red you know with the red crevices looks pretty awesome i do like that it's on translucent plastic there is things about this that i do like i like the face for the most part you know i can't do anything with the sculpt that's our you know the same sculpt we've seen with the weird teeth alignment uh but otherwise yeah it's fine you know again perfectly acceptable if you don't want to spend the money uh, personally i think it could have been better all right guys that's my review hope you dug it let me know your thoughts below if you please like comment subscribe and share check me out on facebook and instagram buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what i do become a zillion today till next time peace out peeps